Hello, my dear friends. This is your coach, Mr. Magno, and we're going to review module three, lesson three, about finding equivalent fractions to add a two fractions who have a, a, a like denominator. All right, let us begin. I already created the models, which are two boxes, and those models should represent each of the fractions. So this fraction is three fifths. So we're going to, uh, um, the denominator tells me how many parts do I need for each of these um, models. So for the first one, I need five parts. So I'm, I'm going to represent five parts. It's going to be um, four segments. One, two, three, and four segments. Let's pretend they're all the same size. And now the uh, for this one, it should be seven segments, which will be uh, actually seven uh fractions but we have seven segments that's going to be two three four five uh six and that will be seven so let's uh, again let's pretend that they're all the same length uh so remember these are the representations of each of the fractions and so now we what we did we represent the denominator exclusively we have not worked with the denominator yet so that is the numerator so now the de denominator so now we're going to represent the denominator for this fraction it says represents three out of the five and i'm going to do that with a yellow marker it's going to be three out of five there's three and for <clears throat> this one is going to be three out of seven so that's going to be three out of seven here all right, so there you go, my friends. We have the representation of each of the fractions. Now, <clears throat> when we do this, we have to multiply each fraction by the opposite denominator. Okay, so let's see. Let me write this down. So the, um, the uh, let me see, that is not visible. Let me bring this down here somewhere. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. The opposite, okay. Uh, let's see, the five is the opposite denominator, denominator, denominator of three, no, of seven. That will be, those are the denominators, five and seven. So we use that information to help us understand what we need to do. So now <clears throat> we're going to represent the three sevens on, on this model. And we're going to do that across. So we're going to represent, use lines to represent the seventh. So I need to use six segmentations. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven already. And now we're going to represent this fraction on this other fraction, which is three fifths. So now we're going to represent, multiply by five, and that is going to be represented with five, four segments across, actually five segments with four segmentations. That's going to be one, two, three, and four segmentations, that's going to give us five rows or five segments. And now we have our answers. So when we do the multiplication, we have to make sure that our, that the model matches the answer for the equivalent fraction for each of these fractions. All right, let's get to it. So three fifths, because it was multiplied by the opposite denominator, the opposite denominator of the number of these three fifths is the seven, which will be seven over seven. And then you multiply those three times seven on the top is 21. And the denominator is five times seven equals 35. Okay, so that is the equivalent fraction for this particular. So now you know that 25, 21, 30 fifths is the same as three fifths. So now that's the number we're gonna to use to add. This is the number that we're going to use to add this fraction. Now let's do this one. Three seven was, is multiplied by the opposite denominator, which is five. So you do five over five, and that's gonna equal, the numerators are three times five equals 15. And the denominator is seven times five equals 35. Okay, so now we found the other 
equivalent fraction. So those are the ones that we use to add this fraction because otherwise it's not, uh, it cannot be done. Okay, so we're gonna write 21 30 fifths, which is needs to be added to 15 35s. And notice that now both of them have the equivalent, um, the, the same denominator. Okay, now we're gonna add them up. The numerator is 21 plus 15 equals 36, and that's gonna be over 35. Okay, now one addition we need to simplify so now the purpose was uh, uh, completed we were able to find the equivalent fractions for three sevenths and uh three fifths once we did that we added those up because it was easier by having common denominators but now we have this have this answer that is the numerator is bigger than that denominator which means that's a division problem so if you think of this, how many groups of 35 can you make out of 36? And the answer is one, okay? And the answer is one. So now you have um, one and you're gonna have one 35th left, okay? So we're gonna be one 35th left. And that's how you create, um, how you simplify by dividing. Okay, let me see. This is just, it's not letting me do this. Okay, here we go. Okay, 135. No, 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 no. All right, um, let me do this by hand. So this is going to be a division. Uh, it's going to be 36 divided by 35. The 35 goes into the 36 once. 1 times 36 equals 35. I'm sorry, 1 times 35 equals 35. Subtracting that 35 from 36, you have a remainder of 1. So the answer is also another way to write 36, 35 is 1 whole and 1 35th. Okay, and this is what you call simplification, my friends. Watch the video again if you need assistance. Don't forget to always check your work and refer to the first problems that we did so you know what to do and you are following the correct steps. Signing out, Mr. Magno, your coach, who wishes, wishes you the best.